Hello everyone, and welcome to Noodle Journey, your destination for detailed and informative reviews of the Instant Noodle universe. And today I'll be reviewing the second product in Samyang's hot pepper product line with this hot pepper champong. Before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. So, just like with the hot pepper jajang flavor that I reviewed last video, this is one of those things that might get mistaken for a Samyang Bulldog product, even though it's a different product line. Bulldog Champong is a thing, and it's delicious, and check out episode 99 for that review, um, and also check out episode 131 for Samyang's other new Champong flavor, which is their Nagasaki version, also ridiculously good. So I'm really eager to see how this compares to those, because those were both perfect 10s for me already. Now, the Jajang flavor last time was quite a departure from Bulldog Jajang in a really good way, and so when I get to opening this up, I'll break down the ingredients and how it differs from Bulldog Jampong. Now, you may know by now what Jampong is, but if not, the quick version is that this is a spicy seafood soup that is Chinese-Japanese in origin that made its way to Korea. The broth can be made from pork bones, chicken bones, beef bones, seafood, or any combination of those, and so you get a nice meaty richness and seafood flavor. And that's what we're going to find in this product, according to the official description. Like the hot pepper jajang, this has been around for a little while, but you should see it popping up online and in your local Asian grocery stores in this new English export packaging. I grabbed a five pack for $9.99 at my local H Mart, so expect about the same price elsewhere. Nutritional information. Uh, the serving size is one bag this time around, uh, not half a bag, and so the total sodium for that serving is 1830 milligrams. That is pretty high, so do watch out for this one. Now inside the package, we've got noodles that appear different than the ones that were in the Jajang flavor. Uh, these look rounder instead of the flatter type. They're obviously a round block of noodles this time instead of a square block. And uh, the ingredients do seem to be the same, however, so it's probably just a different configuration of the same stuff. We've also got a broth powder, seasoning oil, and flake packet. Now there's a huge amount of ingredients in here, so I don't want to list them all, but you've got stuff like MSG soy sauce, chili pepper, milk powder, and bok choy, and lots of seafood powders like bonito, shrimp, squid, and mussel. Now, in the oil packet, We've got a huge mixture of oils, including soybean, chili pepper, seafood, garlic, artificial smoke flavor, and artificial beef oil, which I think is really interesting. And lastly, the flake packet has the same crunchy dried pepper flakes that we saw in the last video. So there's lots of stuff going on here, and I'm hoping it all comes together nicely. The Bulldog Jampong was much more meat-centric than this is, containing actual chicken, pork, and beef powders, plus a big pack of soy protein beef chunks. This being an export product to the US means there is no actual meat in this. All the meat flavor is entirely artificial. So with all that broken down, I will go cook this and be right back. All right, and here we go. What you get before adding the oil and hot pepper actually smells very close to Nangshim's Neogori flavor. In fact, I'm going to give this a quick taste to see what the broth is like without the oil, because this already smells pretty great. I got to tell you, that's already delicious. It's got a nice savory artificial meat flavor with a slightly sweet Seafood finish, extremely close to Neogori. If you like Neogori already, you're probably going to like this. I'm hoping that this oil is now going to take this flavor to a whole other level. So let's see. Much more fragrant oil this time around than, than we had in the last video. All right, so before I add the hot pepper in, the oil had a very strong scent of shrimp, garlic, and that smoky artificial beef flavor actually smells like bacon, which I am not going to complain about. It smells really good. Let's throw in this garnish and stir it all up. Mm. 
All right, I'll stir it up. Let's give this a taste. All right, let's talk about the noodles first, as always. I think I would have preferred if these were the flatter kind, like we saw in the last video, but they're still excellent. Firm, chewy, springy, satisfyingly thick, typical noodle quality from Samyang. So eight out of 10 for the noodles. The spice level is not as bad as the Zhejiang was. It's also not as bad as the Bulldog Jampong was either, or the stew flavor, really. It's uh, much more medium spicy this time around, as far as how harsh and burning the flavor is. But it is still lingering in much the same way that the Zhejiang spice did. I think this is a little less potent and less intimidating. I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10 for spice. Still pretty spicy, but, you know, not crazy. And so I already talked a little bit about the flavor of the broth, but now let's talk about what happens when you add that oil. Wondrous things, my friends. Wondrous things happen when you add that seasoning oil. Uh, this turns from really good into really great. The broth, like I said earlier, already has that nice, comforting artificial meat flavor that works really, really well in combination with the sweetness of the shrimp and squid essences that are in here. But then that oil just comes along and gives it a nice pop of additional shrimp flavor, a really smoky finish, and some all-around tasty pepperiness. I don't know if I sold it well enough with the Jajang flavor, but the pepper in this, besides being spicy, is actually very flavorful. The green pepper flakes are delicious. As for all the green stuff floating around in here, the package said bok choy. I must have missed it, but this does also look like seaweed, so it's got that nice extra umami sweetness going on in here. As far as what can I complain about, not much other than just like the Jajang, I wish that the garnish packet was a little bit more substantial. I think this is a terrific combination of meaty, seafoody, spicy, and peppery. And uh, while I don't think it's a perfect 10, like the other Jambang varieties I've reviewed, this is a 9 out of 10 for me. And I would happily buy this again. Great stuff all around. So back when I started this channel, I named it Noodle Journey because one of the things I figured was going to happen is I was going to go on my own personal journey of discovering new flavors and recipes that I had never had before. And I think it's safe to say that Jampong is one of those recipes that I have newly discovered and have fallen in love with. I can't wait to review the other Jampong varieties I've got sitting on my shelf. But for right now, I'm really glad that I've got another four of these left in my five pack. And this is definitely something that will go into my personal meal rotation. If you're a fan of seafood soup with a nice savory, spicy kick, then I think you should seek this out. You won't be disappointed. But you must also love the flavor of chili pepper because it is a very strong pepper flavor that permeates this entire broth. So with that, it is time to turn off the video and stuff my face with this. If you do try this variety, please let me know what you think or if there's any other champong varieties that I should be checking out, besides the Otogi ones that I have sitting in my queue. I've got a little marathon plan for the holidays that you'll see coming up in the next few videos, not quite on the scale of what I did last year, but similar. And those are all going to be mild varieties, so if the spicy stuff I reviewed the last three videos doesn't float your boat, then those videos might be right up your alley. So I hope to see you next time on Noodle Journey.